Hello and welcome to Game Over Gurkaman. I'm Gurkaman. This is the final episode of Resident Evil 4 uh, HD on the PlayStation 3. I'm glad we finally made it. And we made it in only 7 hours and 40 minutes. That's, that's, not, that's not too bad, really. I mean, like, my first playthrough of this was like 20 hours, so... Thanks to these funky new... Actually, I better heal up first, just to be safe. Uh, yeah, it's great to uh, feel like we've gotten through here in a pretty short amount of time, really. I know for some of these, for some people, it's probably felt like a pretty long adventure, but really, I mean, it's kind of surprising how short this game is when you know what you're doing. And I mean, I got lost quite a few times, so... You know, hey, but uh, we made it in the end. And now it's time to take down Sadler. And then we can all move on with our lives. And, uh... No, you know what? I don't really need anything from you all. Merchant, we've got everything we need. We've got the rocket launcher. We've got the Chicago type rhino. Something's not right. Ashley, you stay here. Ada! Better try a new trick, cause that one's getting old. You okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think you know. The American prevailing is a cliché that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of clichés. Ada, stand back! Such an amazing design for a, for a character. Uh, this boss fight is usually, actually, it's not it's not too hard. It might be one of the easiest boss fights in the game, actually, but mainly because by the time you get up to it, you're fully upgraded. But uh, since we've already got all the weapons, uh, we're going to take him down even easier. So usually, you just want to do enough damage to him to be able to uh, get his head down here and whatever. But we can do things a quick and easy way. The even quicker and even easier way. I just blast the shit out of him with the rockets. So normally that's how you apply your finishing blow is uh, with a rocket launcher, but since we already have one, <laughs> it's not really necessary. Generally, you shoot him in the eyes with the. Uh, Where he's like shooting the eyes on his legs, and that's what ends up just taking him down. So we just have to get him stunned again, and we'll be in the clear, basically. Oh, he's doing a jump thing. Oh, that hurt. Ow. It's almost like I'm playing poorly because I'm arrogant because I'm already I've got the room for the rocket launcher, so it's like, yeah, it's gonna be easy. It's not quite that simple. Not not quite that difficult, but not quite that simple either. It also helps if you actually aim for the guy. Uh, come on. Where's that? Yeah. Thank you. 
Sorry, Leon. Hand it over. Ada, you do know what this is. Hmm. Get off this island, too. She really pushed it. Here, catch. Better get a move on. See you around. Very cute. Oh boy, here we go. All right, so here we go. Let's get off this. Uh, let's get out of here. What <laughs> this thing explores? Oh, I don't need the rocket launcher. I already got a better one. All right, just gonna make our way down here to the elevator. Two and a half minutes is not a lot of time to get off an island. I can tell you that much. All right. It's actually kind of funny. Like the very last thing you do in this game, which you'll see in a minute, is uh, so very different to like everything else that's. It's in the actual game. It's really unusual. Like, I, I like it. Leon! We have to get off this island now. It's gonna blow any minute. It's gonna what?! Exciting action movie music in the in the background here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just a really good, solid, fun way of uh, rewarding the player at the end here. You think you just beat the boss in a big cutscene, but no, they got one last little little thing out here. Well, she already said it was a jet ski, so yeah, they got like a little jet ski escape thing here. Which uh, I, I guess I think Uncharted actually paid tribute to this, the first one. Um, I'm not. The jet ski sequence can be a little bit difficult. The controls aren't on it are perfect, but you know, it's still a lot of. It's still a lot of fun. I'll probably actually die along here. I usually die at least once when I'm playing through this, just because it does control a little awkwardly. Could have used a little bit of refinement. Please! Behind us! I know! Just hold on! This is where things get more difficult. Once you got these waves behind you, there's like so much shit going on and moving so quickly, and the jet ski kind of like moves really awkward. You kind of push forward to make it speed up, but then you're trying to like diagonally direct it. It's just, eh, it's not entirely practical or perfect. Oh, looks like we might actually, might actually do it. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh yes! Let's go home. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. And that's Resident Evil 4. It's done, it's finished, it's over. Thank you very, very much for joining me through this, uh through this game experience. I hope you had a good time. I hope you learned some, uh, I hope you learned things. I learn things every time I play through it. And, uh, yeah. So if you join me next time, I'll be starting out on the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. 
And uh, since I recorded these last like four or five episodes in one go, I don't know what people have said in the comments about what if I'm what I'm playing through as. But I guess I'll you know, we'll find out when I start playing. So uh, I hope you'll join me for that. And uh, thank you again for subscribing and watching my videos. Uh, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoy this. Just to you know, give it helps me out a little bit. And uh, you know, if I can get other people watching, that'd be fantastic too. So. I just want to share my gaming experiences with you lovely people. So uh, thanks again, and uh, I hope once again, I hope you enjoyed yourself, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Have a great one.